Hi guys, alright, so this is the next look. It's kind of inspired by Game of Thrones. That last episode had me so excited and I just had so much creative energy because of the dragons. So I decided to bust out my greens and my yellows and my dragon contacts, which are, by the way, through the video, completely going wonky in every di different direction. Look at that. What the hell? Whatever. They still look cool, but they're completely crazy. So if you guys like this, like to know how I did it, keep on watching and I'll show you so how. this look off. I've already got my brow on. I just used my Dark Deep Brunette Brow Fluid Line for that. And I'm taking a little bit of Urban Decay Primer Potion in the original formula. And I'm going to put it all over my eye. You might have to excuse my contact lenses. They might be moving around like it already is in that side. I'm next taking Kid Eyeshadow for MAC with a big brush and this is just gonna give me a little bit of definition through the socket area. It's gonna help the transition of the greens to blend out really nice and easy for me. Right now I'm gonna take a piece of scotch tape, put it on the back of my hand, peel it off just so it's not so sticky and I'm gonna angle it sideways for my eye. I'm taking the black black chromaline and a little brush I'm going by the angle of the tape. I'm going to go onto that, almost creating like a wing just out of the chroma line. And I'm going to start dragging it on the eyelid and over. We don't have to have it be very um, structured right here. The tape is going to clean it up for us. All right, so now that I have that messy layer down, what I'm going to do is take the color called Femme Noir from MAC. It's just a really dark matte dark forest black and green. I'm taking a 213 fluffy brush and I'm just going to smooth out the transition of this black on the eyelid and over. Then to continue it over I'm going to take humid so just a nice dark green and this one has a little bit of shimmer to it. Right over that seam of the last one and up into the crease slightly. All right, I'm just gonna blend the top of it a little bit. And for that, I'm taking Canary Yellow, which is a nice, like, bright sunshine yellow. Same brush. And this is just gonna start giving me a little bit of a fade at the top of the eyeshadow. Kind of like that. Up and around. And then we're gonna slightly bring it above this line right here as well. I want to add a really like light shimmery yellow in the inner corner so for that I'm going to be taking Crest the Wave eyeshadow. Just a really pretty shimmery yellow into the pocket right there next to the nose. And now for like the pretty like pop of color on the lid I'm going to be taking a neon uh, green color. with a flat brush and we're just going to be pressing that on whatever is left of the eye. Green glitter eyeliner. I'm just going to be putting that on top of this green base. This color is kind of patchy. I didn't lay down a base there because I want it to kind of be see-through just so the glitter kind of really sparkles. So what I'm going to do is place a whole bunch of this. You can see that it's kind of taking away the color a little bit just because that green wasn't that great of quality of an eyeshadow. But it's okay, it's kind of the fact that I want. All I'm doing is taking a little tiny fan brush, which is one of my favorite tricks nowadays for glitter. And we're just gonna run that all over and it blends it out perfectly and blends everything together so nicely. Okay, I just removed the tape and now I'm taking my Kat Von D eyeliner and trooper. I'm just gonna create a winged eyeliner. All right, so I just made some really long points in the inner sides of my eyes. And now I'm just taking my eyeliner and creating a line in my crease just to exaggerate the large eyes that I'm trying to have. I tried to capture it on camera, but I couldn't really do it. So all I did was just do a line right in my crease. Now I'm just going to blend that out and smooth over the lines with the colors we just previously used. Taking a little bit of bottle green eyeshadow and we're just smoothing out that line. Alright, so now I'm taking a cream pencil. This is Risqué from MAC. It's a technical. I'm going to give myself a really good coating on my inner waterline. Taking another glitter. This is gold from NYX. 
I'm just going to be filling in my little tear duct area with gold glitter. A little bit of a white eyeliner. I'm just going to create another line, kind of going from my waterline straight. I'm grabbing my green and gold uh, glitter eyeliner and giving some little, like, little bit of interest to the back of the eye as well. And so to finish the look off, I contoured and highlighted with my Bone Beige and Emphasize Sculpt and Shape Powder from MAC, one of my favorites. Then as a cheek color, I used just a Wisp a Mineralized Blush from MAC. Looks like that, just a soft kind of bluey, purpley, pinky kind of cheek. And just for a little extra, because you know, I am extra, um, I used the New Vegas Mineralized Skin Finish from MAC just for like a glow on my cheeks. For my lips, I lined them and slightly filled them in with cork lip liner, so just a nice neutral yellowy brown. And then um, in the center, I used the new lipstick from back, the yellow one. It's called Gold XIXI. Yeah. And that just gave me really pretty like ombre of the brown and gave me a soft kind of like yellow wash. That was it. Hope you guys liked it. Bye.